Hevenu Shalom Alehim. I bring peace to you. In the native Hebrew language of my Lord and Savior, Yahshua HaMashiach, the Savior, the man called Jesus Christ. The world sleeps just like sheep, peaceful in a pillow padded with lies. I'm praying daily, but the world's got even intellectual thinkers mesmerized. My people starved for revival, but in God's words they stray away instead of seek. In about four seconds, by the grace of God, I will begin to teach. You are now watching The Conservative Racer. Remember, the race is not over until Christ returns. Something just happened yesterday that's so urgent, so appalling to me uh, that it needs to be brought up and uh, brought to the attention of parents out there uh, because their, their children are in danger. Yesterday, the Magic Potion Committee voted 17 to 0 to recommend the potion for children age 5 to 11. One of the members was quoted as saying, we're never going to learn about the safety of the potion until we started giving it out. Do you hear what this man is saying? That he wants to find out about the safety of the potion by testing it on your children, on our children. Psalm 127.3 Behold, Children are a gift of the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward. And in Matthew 18, 6, it reads, But whoever calls one of those little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him to have a millstone fastened around his neck and be drowned in the depths of the sea. It's not hard to see how our Heavenly Father feels about the children. And it amazes me how any parent could give their child up to be a test subject for an abomination like this. In Revelation 18.23, God warns us that the world will be deceived by pharmakia. I'm going to direct everyone right now to the meeting which led to the vote yesterday. And even although it's the actual FDA meeting, I can't show it in this video here. I'm going to provide a link to the uh, actual meeting in the description. Uh, please click on it. I mean, don't take my opinion. Go watch the video of the meeting for yourself and see why I feel so strongly about calling this what I call it. Uh, listen to the experts, listen to the doctors, listen to the specialists desperately trying to warn the FDA to not approve this thing. Thank you and God bless you. God does not give us the spirit of fear. That comes from Satan and the same fear that makes you give your children over to this abomination may be the same fear that brings about your worst nightmare later if you're wrong.